I came here about six years ago to look after the Human Remains collection. Um, but being a volunteer at the museum gives you fantastic opportunity to actually discover other things. And at the moment I'm photographing a hoard of Roman coins that was found near Bista, which you will see in the um, museum exhibition. I have to photograph both sides of the coin and I have already photographed over a thousand of them. Um, my main interest is not the Roman Empire, but having looked at the coins and started to learn about the heads that appear on them, I now am actually being drawn in by the objects themselves. And in fact, I've discovered that there was a Gallic Empire as part of the Roman Empire, and the period from which the coins come was actually quite a difficult phase in the Roman Empire. And it had split into three factions, and we were part of the Gallic Empire, and the coin heads um, record uh, Victorinus, who was not in charge for very long because he had an affair with the wife of another um, member of his team and was killed. Tetricus I and II, father and son, these were quite successful but didn't rule for very long and were eventually replaced by an emperor from Rome, Gallienus. I am amused to see the differences, although initially they look all the same, um, they all wear radiate crowns. If you look very closely, you can see that there are differences in the profiles, although initially they look the same. And eventually, I have discovered some of the Gallienus coins and his wife, Salonina, whose head also ended up on the coin surface. So fascinating, learning a lot.